How do you create a subprime derivative and how do you blow it up? S senior economics reporter Steve Leisman uh, knows and he's here to explain with the help of the axis of easel here. Stephen? We call this burning down the house yes. because that's sort of what's been happening. This looks like the books of some hedge funds or investment banks we know. Right now it does, Now that they've had these, these, these uh, uh, subprimes blow up. But what we have to do first is we have to create it first. Then we'll show you how it went bad. So All right. Work with me on this, Bill. If I'm you don't you. understand anything here, you let me know. I okay? always do. You start off very simply here. You take a bunch of mortgages here, okay? Joe, Fred, Jane, okay? They're $100,000, $200,000 on a mortgage. You put it into one big thing. We call it a mortgage-backed security. Say it's $50 million worth, okay? Okay. That's step one. We I'm got more, we got more to go here. I'm with you. You're okay. with me on this. That is, this is the easy go. part. That's the easy part, okay? Now. You take a bunch of these mortgage-backed securities and you put it into one very big thing. You see, that's a $50 million piece, that's a $50 million piece. The one thing about all these guys here is they're all subprime borrowers. They're all their credit is bad or there's something about it that doesn't make it prime, okay? All of them. Right. Now watch, the interesting thing we're going to do right. here is remember these are subprime credits, right? Yes, yes. We're going to make some AAA paper out of this. Well, you just watch. <laughs> We're going to make some good paper. So now we have this thing here, a $1 billion vehicle here, right? Okay. Now's the tricky part, because what we're going to do is we're going to slice it up into five different pieces, Got okay? It. Five different pieces. Call them tranches, call them levels, call them what you will. But the key here is they're not divided by Jane's is here and Joe's is here, right? Jane is actually in all five pieces here. Why? Because what we're doing here is your triple B minus tranche here, they're going to take the first losses from whoever is in the pool. Somebody stops paying, okay, all the way up to about 8% of the losses these guys are assuming. So what okay. they're saying is, look, you got it, you got losses in your thing, I will absorb those losses and pay you for them. In return, you're going to pay me a relatively high interest rate. All the way up to triple A, where 24% of the losses are below them, okay? So it, the whole 24% of it has to go bad before they see any losses. And they get, you will see, a relatively low interest rate. Now, what is AAA quality, paper? Right. Here's what we've done. Here's the magic of this as far as the, the Wall Street's concerned. We have taken subprime paper and created GE quality paper out of this, okay? We have a AAA tranche here, okay? Now, we're going to show how it's blown up here. Here's a little nuclear bomb action there, okay? Here's the issue when it was issued. Your AAA paper had a yield of about 5.3%. Now it's 7.7, now, now it's 5.45%, okay? It. So it's risen. All right? But look at what's happened to the triple B minus paper. 7.75 around there when it was issued, and now it's 30%. Wow. Tremendous losses in there and right. gains for the guys who come in now and hold this paper. What's interesting about this is this thing suggests that there will be 80 or 90 percent losses in this and all they've been is like in the 12 percent range. So some guys are seeing a lot of value in here. Let's look at some of the keys to the blow up here now, Bill. Okay. Foreclosures and delinquencies have been on the rise right. quite a bit. That's deteriorated that triple B tranche right there and, and really gone up a little bit into the, in, triple, minus, into the triple B. If housing worsens, these things get worse from here. The big question here are ratings downgrades. If that triple A paper suddenly becomes seen as, as, as B paper or even just single A paper, it's going to affect the entire else goes capital right. structure. So that's what you do. You take a whole bunch of mortgages, you put them in a pot, and you slice them up by losses. Then you sell them out there, and the blow-up part has come because of a lack of belief not an actuality, but a lack of belief in the credit worthiness of these subprime borrowers. There has to be a lot of faith in some of these uh, investments that they make. As, as they said in the song, we're in for nasty weather. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It was very clear. You got it? Well done. I got it. All right. You, you, you promised some, and you delivered. Something accomplished. Once again. Thank you, Steve. Thanks. All right. We're just a few days uh, from July 4th, of course, and a lot of folks will be taking vacations next week. And if the beach is your idea 